Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mark of the Ninja. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw and we'll be getting back to our character Mark the Ninja in just a moment, but I wanted to try something a little different. I figured I would do the upgrades at the beginning of this video instead of the end of the last. Just, I think it might, uh, even hear you out a little bit. Now, we have a new, uh, thing we could buy, the cardboard box, but I think it's useless until you get the side upgrade for it, which isn't available to us just yet. So instead, I'm gonna get the concentrated Hisamu dart, which is very effective. And for my secondary, I think I'm gonna grab the ravenous insects, because I'm quite a fan of them. It's... well... They're interesting. They can completely remove a corpse from the field if the body's already dead, or they can very loudly instantly kill any enemy. They're very useful, though. And with that, we're done with upgrade for now. So, I would recommend Path of Nightmare for this level, actually, because every guard in this level has pretty good detection radius, and they've got pretty good... Uh, they've all got radio, so they're prone to talking to each other. It's very useful, but, uh... At the same time, I'd rather go attack... I'd, I'd rather have double attack items, so I'm gonna go with my classical Path of the Hunter. But, again, I actually recommend Path of Nightmare. So, take the Hisamu Terror Dart and my insects, of course, and let's get started. We've got a cutscene to watch. Before the restoration, as the other clans strayed and disbanded, a merchant sold us a secret. He led us to a flower whose petals burn with toxin. Dosan's trail leads here, the source of the ink in your marks. If his eye has a secret, it's in there. Now, this level introduces uh, a new mechanic that, well, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but we gotta get through it. And that mechanic is... Traps. You see that bunt-out car? It's glowing red. Anything that is glowing red is either a trap or it's something that is unstable. It'll break. Like, I'll show you the car. These bandits are tricky and ruthless. Watch out for traps. And whatever you do, don't get caught. They'll torture you for days and let the insects finish you off. You can just walk into that one safely. So yeah, let's look at our three seals today before we get started. We need to... Now, all three of these seals are uh, based on a very specific objective in this level. We need to retrieve the keys without using any items. That will not come into play until we start the objective, retrieve the keys. We need to recover the Sumi without taking damage. That includes stepping on any of these traps, and there is a lot of traps. Again, that will not come into play until we're at the Recover the Sumi objective. And finally, getting the Tattoo Needle without being detected does not come into play, you guessed it, until we're on that objective. So, they're very specific to very specific points of the level. By the way, all that stuff I just jumped on will break, but it got me around the car. And if you want to go down here, you can get a pretty easy cat statue to help your score. Just go under the trap, trip while you're there, grab your statue, go back. Literally no hassle on that one. There is, however, another one up here that you can get by simply, well, taking the upper path to this the doorway. The wood is rotting. The stone is crumbling. Does anyone still live out here? Now, the reason I cut those down is because they don't, they're not proximity when they're cut down. They're just, well, landmines in the down position. It's a hell of a lot easier to get past, past them when they're in the down position like that. For now... I can try and get up there, but it's a pain in the ass, and eh, screw it. We got a guy here who's got a pretty good perch on us. So why don't we try out one of our new items? Let's try out the insect, shall we? Get him out of the way. They're all over me! They're all over me! <laughs> Delicious. And yeah, there is no body left. The insects are an automatic body, body hide, as well as an automatic, um, kill. But it's very noisy. They are sometimes better used just to remove bodies that have already been built up in a pile. But that's at your discretion, of course. So right here, we've got two guards, and I'm going to show you how to use their own traps against them. However, this is a risky maneuver because all the guards have radios, as I mentioned earlier. So let's drop a landmine down, but they will only go off on, on their own people as landmines. Then I hit him, I he comes to see what the commotion was, and... Kaboom! Now I want to quickly drop the second land They're coming for you. He's going to go down to check the body. Wait, there he goes. Now I want to hit him as well, so he'll ignore the body to come see what hit him, okay? Now he's going to one path the first guy because he's been distracted, and kaboom goes the second guard, which removes the landmine and the take care of the threat. Those two are fine where they are. We don't have to fickle with them at all. 
course, we've got a guard over here, just kind of chilling, not really being much of a threat. He doesn't seem to want to turn around, so I guess he's just like a freebie kill if you can just get on this, this edge just right. Just like that, leap of faith him off the edge, and we can progress safely. Up ahead, we've got... This stupid sand. I can't see a thing. Yeah, the, sa the uh, sandstorm makes it to where you have very, very low visibility on enemy guards. So you gotta be careful around in, in the- There are more traps inside. Remember to use the mark of Farsight, so you'll know what you're getting into. As you can see, when we're outside, we can't see a damn thing. That's the sandstorm doing its job. I guess I shouldn't get mad about it. That's kind of what it's here for, after all. Just wait for him to go back. One thing to keep in mind, the guards have lowered vision in the sandstorm, too, if they don't have night vision. Like, that one would have had lowered vision. He wasn't a night vision guard. Are you you spotted at the edge of town. Now I'm Just gonna like a ninja. wait here, because they... must have come here for the old man. And now he'll share his grave. Mm. Angry people, aren't they? Now I'm going to wait here a moment, because... We know you're here. That second pot... I... That works too, I guess. What am I waiting for, plan? Well, he's gonna run down to see what his buddy's freaking out about. No, I heard something. And by the way, that was a terror dart, so he's actually uh, a level two dart. He's actually gonna die from it. Just give him a while. Watch, he will eventually go down. A matter of time. No trace, but we will find him. All right, here he goes. Here he goes. Boom! Loads his own brains out. That's why I like the level two dart. That was closer than it needed to be, but we got him all the same, which leaves only the downstairs guard to worry about. Which I can then drop down on, no problem. Now, I took that roundabout path because the straight path downstairs has a lot of bombs that I just don't want to deal with. That said, I do want to go down here and deal with this. So, the first step is to knock this down into landmine form, and then just jump over both of those, and you'll just barely clear it. Knock down the second landmine, hit this first trap, and quickly jump up here. Now all I gotta do is clear that mine and we're pretty much home free. Okay, the third trap, tripwire, no threat, as you're about to see. See, no threat at all. And we get our first scroll for our trouble. My confession. This had better be good. A voice in my ear gives excuses in the tongue I do not speak. It is hot, and I am sinking. By the way, that is a spike trap you see down there, so be careful with your uh, movement pattern. Don't not make that jump if you want to live, is what I'm trying to say. Right here, we can jump up to here to go around the bomb, or we could just walk onto it. But I wanted to be fancy for a moment. Here, we've got a box that we can push around. The half-dead rat hasn't broken yet, but give it time. Yeah, you can guess how this goes. He'll give me the tattoos, not if I break him first. Now the funny thing is about this, that I'm pretty much giving this one to you. It's just like... I mean, you don't even have to do that, because you're already pretty much... What I'm saying is there's no reason to go down here and kill those guys, except just because... Well, I'm violent by nature. Like, I'm not going to get anything for my trouble, is what I'm saying. Because, you know, I could just take the upper path instead. But since I already did him in, I might as well, you know, take the lower... The path involving the block, push it over there, and then you can, well, slip by this way. Which will lead us to our checkpoint, which is great. I'm great. Yeah, I'm grateful to have because, well, like I said, this area, pretty tough level. Oh, Dosan. When I got here, the bandits seized me and tried to make me give them the marks. I refused. Order Sand's not worth much, but I have my honor. You must save me. Find the key to unlock these chains, and find the tools they stole from me. Well, you heard the old man. You can't cut the chains. You must find the keys. Okay, with the son talk to, you know, now we head over this way and we start our three objectives. They're, uh, they're not too hard. Closer. Get closer. Yes. Come Gotta be closer. quick if you want to get past this guard the way I did, because you only have a split second to get out of the light. But once you're out, he's not that bad. But well, the reason I went down here first is because we want to go down into this little tunnel here, which will eventually lead us all the way to one of our objectives, but that's not what I'm interested in right now. 
So, let's first off, when you see a new trap, check what they're attached to. This particular one's attached to this chain, so I can pull it, break it, and then get back before it falls. It's noisy, but that's alright. The guy's all the way down there. He's not gonna hear anything. And that'll drop another chain, which again, noisy, but it's alright. What I'm gonna do to get rid of him is drop that over there. And then if I had a noisemaker, I could lure him over there. But I don't, so... We'll just drop on him like that. Go ahead, drop the mine so it's out of my way. Yeah, a lot of, uh, those things are not that dangerous if you know how to handle them, which thankfully I do. But what we have here is our first gong. So, well, our only gong. is one gong per level. So let's do a challenge room, shall we? Yeah, this one's a doozy. Okay, this challenge room is, well, it's one of my least favorites in the game, because it's pretty damn tricky on the platform. That's the first step. You gotta break the chains and get out of the spikes before, well, before you're utterly obliterated. I'm gonna do that for the second load there, which cleaves out the whole left side of the room now. So, if I pull this lever, It'll close the, the gateway there, but it will also drop more bombs. That's okay, though, because I've already got the level where I want it. What did that do? That sealed that gateway over there, which means that all we've got to do now is get out alive. Like I said, this one's not so much a puzzle as it is just really difficult platforming. And I'm not a platformer, but it's okay because we're through it now. So you pull this lever, and it'll open the door, but it'll also set off... Well, that's uh, something you can't get by. It's going way too fast to slip by it. So, that's why you had to go through all that before you come in and get our squad. In the sand outside the fortress, I kneel. The blade in my hand shakes. I hold it to my chest, where the shame chokes me. I crave relief, but I force myself to drop the blade. Huh. Apparently he wanted to kill himself, but he, well, he kind of pussied out, to be honest. Don't know how else I can describe what happened there. It sounds pretty much like he, uh, completely just powered it out on it to me. If you're gonna take these guys out, you gotta be quick about it, how I just did it, or it's just not gonna work out in your favor at all. But once you take care of one, the second one will be a breeze. Just come up behind them, and you know the, you know the drill. And yeah, these guys have really good sight cones. Closer. Get close. See what I mean? Let's go ahead and move this body. That's far enough back. Well, a little farther to be sure. I'm just gonna wait over here until he's ready to go back, and then I'll come up behind him. If I get impatient, I could just smack him with a dart and hide behind the uh, vase there. But nah, we'll just wait till he goes back and get him on the way. Maybe he See? fled. There he goes. <laughs> come up behind him, and there's another one down. Now down here is a whole bunch of traps, so I prefer to take the guard path over the trap path myself. As you can probably tell from the path I took. Right here we've got a tricky one, because you do that, and it drops these things, and if you touch these, the spikes come out. But it's okay, they'll go back down, so they're not that's not the end of the world if you touch one of those. I, yeah, that's kind of the gimmick, and that you break the chain, the spikes impale you. An interesting fact about this level is, because, well, let me show you on the map here, because there's three different paths you have to take and they're not connected to each other, pretty much all the traps are built so that they affect each other from both angles. I find it interesting, personally. Go ahead, uh, I don't need any upgrades, I'm just gonna, you know, rest restock my items, because I did use some bugs. The Sumi is usually kept underground, in an airtight chamber. A chamber just like this one. Now, this is the one where we have to recover the Sumi without taking any damage. So, first thing first, the middle pot is a bomb. So noted. So what I can do to get this guy out of the fight, is just smack him like that, he'll come running to see what it was, and... Out of the hiding spot, he's dead. Do not hide behind the middle bomb, well, the middle pot, or... That happens. It is very noisy. You know, I'm... People will hear it most of the time. I definitely want to take out any lights I can to make my uh, 
my approach a little easier. This pot's safe, I already knew that. So once he gets close enough, you know the drill. Down he goes. Go ahead, drop him in here, which has got a... Well, the Sumi I'm looking for, actually. Tricky part is just getting to it alive. But one thing at a time. For starters, let's go ahead and break this light sword, because I do know there's a guard right below me. Two guards, actually. So how am I going to deal with them, I wonder? Hmm, how about my terror dart that actually, well, hurts people when it hits, but it got a shield. So I should have hit that guard instead. He's going to start shooting wildly. He killed his friend. And all I got to do now is wait, because with the upgraded terror dart, as I believe I mentioned earlier, but I might not have, they die after enough time automatically. They'll fire for a while, and eventually, here it comes. Wait. Oh, don't do it behind the pillar. I want people to be able to see you blow your own head off. That takes care of all the guard we have here, making this a much safer ascent now. Or descent, I suppose. But what we gotta do... Watch out for the falling, uh, trap. What we gotta do is pull this lever here to raise this crushy brick, and it is a crushy brick, it will crush you if you're not careful. You'll see why in about two seconds. So once it's all the way up, we're gonna try and get under it if we can, and quickly, you know, push it to the side, and get our, well, get our prize. And that is step one of three, collect this ta the tattoo sumi. So, we got another one way over here, so we're gonna go ahead for that one, and then go back the other way for the last one. There was a trap here, and I set it off, but since the checkpoint was, like, literally right where the trap was, it just killed me and then put me here anyway. So, uh, whatever, I guess. Now, interesting thing, if a falling crate uh, go through a tripwire, it won't set it off, which I kind of wish it would. And then to these pots, they're both safe. You don't have to worry about those two. Okay, safe so far. So, our next step is going to be, uh, right here. We're going to be going for that the next piece, but we're actually going to be doing that next time, because I think getting half of it today and the second two objectives next time is a pretty good way of handling it. I'm just going to get to one more checkpoint before I do it. That checkpoint? Right here. That must be the Jailer. Who knows what he did to Dasan to try to make him cooperate. Now this is the part where from this point until I get that key, I can't use any item. By the way, that does involve darts, I believe. Oh, it doesn't. Huh, that means I thought it did. Well, okay, you can use darts then. But yeah, for now, we've got our checkpoint, so I am Nosgard Silverclaw, here with our character, Mark the Ninja, and we'll wrap up this level next time. By the way, cat statue. So, have a good one, everybody. I hope this video helped you get through it. And there will be outtakes, so enjoy those. Yeah, the booby traps in me don't get along well. He shoot wildly, that's expected. He got someone! Shoot him. Shoot him. He will not be so lucky twice. Damn it. At least that's how I plan on. Uh So obviously we can't pull that till we some way block that up there. And how do we block that? Well, Not like that. Right, so... This particular challenge room is, uh... Oh, this one's a doozy. Right, so in this particular challenge room, it can be, uh... Well, this one can be pretty hard, I'll be honest. If, like, you see you break these chains here and... an explosion. There's a lot of shit hit the fan when you pull any of those chains. But you can actually pull that which will lower the bombs. And now, obviously, you can't get to your... Well, you can't finish it, because... Yeah. You uh, pretty much have to liberally use this if you want to get through this one without a lot of trial and error. But you've got me. You, what you want to do is you want to break all those chains in a way that drops the bombs, because breaking the chains will drop the bombs. That's, uh, 